Race number five at Belmont on Wednesday will jump at 3 o'clock. It is the events at Ascot Handicap over 1,200 metres. The replay horse can look at Gingerella finishing second first up at Belmont Park. Gingerella led clearly as Patterson went for home. Gingerella bailed it away by two or three lengths over the anaesthetist. A similar margin, Trilly Philly, the girl of ass. 200 left to go though and Gingerella's a day in front. Gingerella by nearly three. Battling away is the anaesthetist who's starting to run on strongly. The leader's stopping. The anaesthetist coming at it. It's stopping in its tracks. Gingerella, the anaesthetist picked it up. The Gingerella broke the hearts of her backers at Belmont Park two weeks ago she was far too fresh and went far too quick in the early stages under Ben Patterson he did manage to get a cheap sectional midway through the race but it simply wasn't enough and she just ran out of gas in the final stages and was caught in the shadows of the post by the anaesthetist winkers on blinkers off for its second up run should be certainly fitter for what was a high rating performance for a Wednesday afternoon I think she can get the recovery mission over the line she goes on top from number six Glasgow girl this is another horse that will be quite close to the speed you'd think sixth up has never missed a place has got a wide gate here but does get a claim for Jordan Turner after Randy Tan rode it last start the class horse or potential class horse in the race is number one Rue Beamish always wary of when William Pike rides for Simon Miller certainly when he had probably the option to ride in a couple of others in the race here. She's fifth up on Wednesday. She is down in grade. This is the first time she's raced in a midweek race since November last year, but she didn't win that race either. She finished fourth. She goes in for third. And then number five, Outstressed. Really likes the wet tracks, but I've got a query about the trip here. I think would be better suited over slightly shorter. 1,200 is a slight concern. My well, top selection in race number five, I'm going to go with number seven, Gingerella, to beat six, Glasgow Girl, one, Rubia Miss, and five, Outstretch. Race number six at Belmont on Wednesday will jump at 3.35. It's the Perth Racing Club membership handicap over 1,400 metres. The replay horse, look at Swift Platinum, finishing ninth, second up. Behind them, Swift Platinum taken on by Great Again, and Great Again shortly afterwards races to the lead, now more than a length clear. In behind them, Blizzard Express, Adrian McPhee trying to work into the open. Down the outside comes Cramden with its run. It's Great Again with 100 left to go. Comparative and count to Mozov. Cramden trying hard. Great Again in front. Comparative is coming at it, but it's Great Again who completes the hat-trick. Swift Platinum led the replay race, but ultimately finished ninth behind Great Again was only beaten the four length, so even though it beats only one horse home, it wasn't that bad a run. I think it might be ready third up here for Ross Price and Mitchell Pateman. Third up, last preparation, finished third, beat uh, behind Vital Silver and Regazzo Doro, but ahead of Midnight Sky. I think that's reasonable form here for a Class 3 56 plus affair. The last time it ran in a midweek race, it was at Bunbury as well, and it won that race over 1,400 metres. Dropping in grade here, dropping in class, goes on top on suspicion. From number one, Sense of Power will be third up on Wednesday. Went far too fast first up, but was better and fitter for it last start when getting the job done, beating Sordello. Uh, the wet form is okay here. It is the likely favourite. I'm just looking for a bit of value against the favourite here. Number four, Time to Hunt is one of two horses trained by Daniel and Ben Pierce in this race. Will be first up off a couple of trials. Was second in three of four midweek races last preparation. They will all be on 1,650 metres though. Hasn't won below 1,500. This is 1,400. Looking for a decent fresh run from number four, Time to Hunt. And then the stable mate, number five, Tracciato. The tongue tie went on last start. Was near, he's near the winning post in the Aquanita Stakes. Was fifth in the Belmont Guineas before that. However, his best finishes have all been on dry tracks and we're not gonna get that on Wednesday. Well, on top selection in race number six and go with number two, Swift Platinum, to beat one, Sense of Power, four, Time to Hunt, and five, Tracciato. Race number seven at Belmont on Wednesday will jump at 4.15. It's the Argonaut Corporate Advisors and Stockbrokers Handicap over 1,600 metres. It's a race for the three-year-olds. One of those three-year-olds is Beautiful Mind. Let's have a look at its second at Pinjarra Park. Followed further back behind them, Kendall's me dad, Hong Long. Peppy Jack storm to the front, though, when they go to the 250. Here comes Beautiful Mind on the outside, though, letting down very quickly. Beautiful Mind ranges up to Peppy Jack. They've come together with 100 to go. It's Peppy Jack fighting back, regains the lead. Beautiful Mind's runs come to an end, and Peppy Jack finished up winning. Beautiful Mind is a well-related daughter of So You Think. They pay quite a bit of money for her at the sales, and she was well back to win on debut at Pinjarra Park. 
almost got the job done at $2.60. Had the second fastest sectionals most of the way home. If you go through the pedigrees, the half relation, perfect number. Only won one race, but it was on a wet track, so I don't think she'll mind Belmont on Wednesday. And from barrier one, with Jordan Turner able to claim down to 54 kilos, she goes on top. Number one, Jacker's Mob. He's second up on Wednesday, one on debut over 1,600 metres. That's never easy to do. And this is a half relation of Mr Motown that won a black type race and was pretty handy on the wet tracks as well. Really good effort to win over a mile first up. Goes in for second. Number three, Langley. is second up in his first WA preparation for Mark Bairstow, having previously been in the yard of John O'Shea. Look, Kit's full relation was north from five and didn't win anything on a wet track, uh, but expecting improvement from its first up run in WA when it was fifth behind Supreme Force. And then number two, Brother Paddy, uh, was behind True Delight last start at Belmont. He's had three poor runs on a SAF track for mine and his full relation didn't win on a wet track either. Well, in top selection, in race number seven, I'm going to go with number six, Beautiful Mind, to beat one Jacker's Mob, three Langley, and two Brother Paddy. Race number eight at Belmont on Wednesday will jump at 4.55. It's the David Gray's Agling Handicap over 1,650 metres. The replay horse, can look at this Eastern States import, Navy Blue, on its first start in WA. My Gill Chili, can it keep going? It leads by length and a half. Here's tribute to Mary getting into the clear. Burning Magic on the inside and Satiric is down the outside. My Gill Chili with on the outside, tribute to Mary and then Burning Magic the inside. Tribute to Mary, Burning Magic and then My Gill Chili and Satiric is late. Tribute to Mary's in front though from Burning Magic. My Gill Chili, Navy Blue, Satiric and it's going to be tribute to Mary. Martin Allen acquired Navy Blue from the stable of DK Weir in Victoria. Not many horses improve for leaving Darren Ware, but I don't think this horse needs to improve too much in order to win this race at Belmont on Wednesday. I thought it was a very good first run for Martin Allen. Was uh, blinkers off in that race, slowly away, had the fastest sectionals all the way home. If you go through its Victorian form, he clearly handles wet tracks and gets a much better gate today. It was the outside gate of 11 last start, gets barrier four for Ryan the Boy Hill goes on top. From number four, fair foot as the outside gate here, or one of the outside gates anyway. I think uh, it's, it's certainly improved. It's been running really good sectionals. Not too concerned about its soft track numbers here. Just a one minor placing from seven starts, but going through the form, finished off those races every bit as good as she finished off the ones on dry. Third up without a trial, open to improvement, just might be a little bit too far back in the run. From number one, Young Thor. Second up, the noseband and the bubble cheeker went on last start. Was a big drifter in the market, but that was understandable. That was over 1,300 metres. This horse has only won over 1,675 metres previously. This is that kind of trip. So Young Thor goes in for third. And number three, Irish Mossay. Will certainly like the ground. Certainly handles it very well indeed. In fact, has only placed on a wet track. Uh, the concern for mine is his first run beyond 1,400 metres. And looking at the sections of this horse, I'm not at convinced that a mile is going to be up her alley. Well, in top selection in race number eight, going to go with number nine, Navy Blue, to beat four Fairfoot, one Young Thor, and three Irish Mosse. It's now time to nominate my best bets on the Belmont car. Going to go in consecutive races, starting in race number six, number two, Swift Platinum, third up at what is hopefully going to be a tasty price. And then race number seven, number six, beautiful mind for Lindsay Smith from the inside gate. It's easy to stay up to date with everything that's happening at Perth Racing. You can log onto our website or you can follow us on one of our social media channels. Until next time, bye for now.